and it's Friday. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hello, Love everyone, it. and welcome to Better. I'm Audra Lowe. And I'm J.D. Roberto. We're wrapping up our first week of the new we season are. here. We are. Switch chairs a little bit. You we got this one switch chairs, and I got a coffee cup. I, I, I know. Audra wanted to change chairs. I said, you get us coffee <laughs> cups, and I will switch seats with With something you. in them, right? Yes, I have coffee in mine. Okay. All right. Yeah. got water. I'm a water girl. You were on the Facebook. Water, so. After our week of talking about Facebook, you were on the Facebook checking out the Better Facebook page, weren't you? We talked about that a lot. I went on Facebook, JD, got yeah. my little points. Yeah, a lot of Progress. people are responding to Jill Zarin and telling us why they need her shapewear, why they need to get squeezed. Yeah. The responses are really I'm wearing funny. man Spanx today. <laughs> I can't man breathe. Spanx. I can't breathe. But you're very excited. You can't breathe today. I can't breathe guests. today for a different reason because we have a, a guy on the show. When I looked at the schedule for the week uh -huh. and I saw that this young man, artist, actor, was going to be on the show, I was really excited. Tremendously talented. Yes, exactly. We had to calm you down just a little bit. Just got a little man crush on him. Daniel Radcliffe is who we're talking about. He's going to be on our show. And, you know, he's been winning our hearts over since he was 11 years old. I was not doing anything at 11, but getting on my parents' nerves. Anyway, we're going to fast forward 10 years later, and things really haven't changed that much. No, they haven't. Here is a look at the indelible mark this actor has made on both stage and screen. The boy wizard who captured our hearts as Harry Potter is all grown up and taken his very big talent to the Broadway stage. Oh, aren't you proud to be in that fraternity? Daniel Radcliffe is electrifying in his role as J. Pierpont Finch, singing and dancing his way up the corporate ladder in the revival of how to succeed in business without really trying. His range as a singer and a dancer is remarkable to both the audience and his Tony Award winning co-star John Larroquette. The fact that Mr. Radcliffe was in it was first and foremost. I thought for my first Broadway endeavor to have that kind of caliber of talent around me is you always try to get the best people you can. What was your dream about last night? I can't remember. What's yours about? Of course, this isn't the star's first go around on the Great White Way. In 2008, Daniel Radcliffe made his Broadway debut in the drama Equus, giving us a glimpse of his acting prowess passionately playing the tormented teenager Alan Strang. And as the door closes on Hogwarts, not only did a new one open on stage, but one opened again on screen in the highly anticipated supernatural thriller, The Woman in Black. There are those who believe the whole town is cursed. Daniel plays Arthur, a rather disenfranchised character whose grief puts him on the edge of madness. The Woman in Black. And we are so excited. Daniel Radcliffe is in our studio today to talk about Broadway and his new movie coming out, which looks pretty fascinating. Really Good to have you here. Thanks very much for having me. Just walked you with a smile. I love it. I love oh, your just your energy is just fantastic. Oh, Unlike this one over here. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Me. you know. I, I was I was thinking about this. Audra knows I've been really excited about this interview yes. all week. This must be a really interesting time in your career mm -hmm. as one phase of your career ends and you really get to look out and go, okay, what do I want to do next? Yeah. What do I want to be next? I mean, it's for the next two years, we are absolutely in, in transition and it's about finding as much diverse work inside that time as I possibly can and to make as much of an impression outside of Harry Potter. And I think that's, and that can be achieved with people. I think people put a lot of pressure on the kind of, oh, they're only going to be seen as this forever. And, but I don't think it, that's necessarily the case now because I think that in the if you look at big franchises from particularly the 70s, like Star Wars is the example people often mm -hmm. bring up, people didn't have the same relationship with actors in those days. Actors were less celebrities than they are now and right. more right. the actors. And there was less of the you know interviews like this or gossip magazines or whatever. That, so people don't feel a connection to... Mm -hmm. I, 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 I think people now see me as a person more they than see they Daniel do. Radcliffe, I, I not a character. I certainly get yeah. Daniel more than I get Harry. I mean, generally speaking, or maybe people are just being kind and choosing to shout my <laughs> well, way. And, <laughs> and even with the Star Wars template, you know, yeah, sure, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, that was her forever, but Harrison Ford but, you know, has had this amazing, diverse career. Exactly, and it's it's so that there is there is no rule book in terms of how this stuff is done. But you're doing um, it right, though. It looks but, like I things mean, are working I think, out. You know? I think it's, but I think that's the thing. I, I think you can, you can become too obsessed with kind of trying to get like a master plan of how mm -hmm. I will break away from something. Or I think you ultimately just have to be having a good time and enjoying yourself, because otherwise it's really not worth it. And yeah, and trying to do stuff that is 
maybe not what people expect. Like, right. I, I certainly didn't expect to be doing a musical three years ago, so I doubt <laughs> anyone else saw me going that way. Speaking of the musical, can we talk about this for a second? Yeah. And, you know, absolutely. how many shows a week is it? Like, uh, eight, 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 shows, eight a shows a week. Eight shows a week. Non stop energy. Is it yeah. more uh, taxing on you physically or mentally, or is it equal? Well, it's interesting. With a show like this, that it's a physical thing. It's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a kind of a physical show, just in the amount of running around I do. And at the beginning of the week, I feel fine and rejuvenated, and by the end, my <laughs> shins are hurting. And, like, it's all <laughs> creeping going to around. Part, yeah. But um, but with Equus, when I did Equus here, my other time on stage was that was a mental thing. I've now done this show for a lot longer than I did Equus on either run individually, and I'm still really excited to come to work every day. Was whereas by the end of five months of Equus, I was kind of like, okay, yeah, it seems I'm like that would be to, very emotionally it, draining. It was yeah. kind of a little draining, and and you know, and getting naked on stage is, is I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, it's, it's no not fun. fun. Yeah. It's, people say it when it's like I talked to somebody said, oh, I found it really liberating, and you were like, yeah, you did hair. <laughs> I was running around blinding horses for ten minutes. Yeah, like, just it was, tell it like it is. Um, but um, but yeah, so no, I mean, I'm having a, an amazing time. It is, it is tiring. It is, it, it is the hardest I have ever worked. But mm -hmm. I. I love it, you know, and I'm. That, I know, that's it's a great what group. I thought. Good. When I left the show, I thought, first of all, I didn't expect you to be able to sing and dance as well like as you it. can. Oh, that just wasn't how I thought of you. You were no, great up there. Would you? But you were also. It was a rainy Tuesday night, and you were up there performing like it was opening night. Oh, like, good. I felt like you were sweating and having a great time. And by the time we finished, I was like, man, that guy loves to perform. Oh well, good. No, I mean, I do. I get a kick out, and it's also I get a huge kick out of the, the other people I get to perform with. You know, John Arquette and. Yeah. Michael you guys Park had something like, going on mm -hmm. the yeah. night I saw it. There was something well, yeah. going on. There is always, there's always, like, John, John, particularly at the moment, is, is calling me different names. He's called, there's one point in the show where he goes, whoa, and he'll say either insert Charlie Brown right. or yeah. he's normally been doing, like, kids' TV characters. And then last night he went, you, he said, whoa, there, you Jimbo, which is a Kurosawa samurai film. And I don't know if he knew that I knew the film or we talked about it or something, but it really got me and I just started expect. laughing. So there's always stuff that like he'll throw in that that it that that occasionally kind of well, makes it keeps it fresh. Yeah, yeah. Keeps Speaking it fresh. Speaking of John, though, he gave you some high praise. He said that you're the reason why he wanted to be involved in this project. How Which does is very that kind. feel? It, that? It's it's lovely, and John is somebody I have a, a huge amount of respect for as a person and as a performer. I've never seen somebody who can. He finds jokes in the most unexpected places and does stuff that in any other hand. He, I think, John Larroquette has a real gift, which is that it's the same thing in a weird way that Pee Wee Herman has, which is that I'll be <laughs> sitting there watching going, I don't know why I'm laughing at this, but it's really, really funny. <laughs> and right. there isn't kind of, un there's something uncontrolled and anarchic about John, which is really exciting to be around. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, I'm having a great time with him and all our cast. We, we're very, very lucky. There's no ego. Everyone's very chilled out, and it's a really nice Love place that. to go to work every day. Will you? You? We could talk to you forever. Seriously, we will you stay for, for hey, a little bit. We want to talk about yeah. Yeah, we want to talk about oh, Please, I would love to talk about okay, that. Okay, that's yes, good please. deal. So we have a lot more to talk about with Daniel Radcliffe. So stick around. We'll be right back.